something that's good for me. Guess what, everybody? This is Roland Blase, CopaKeyboardSchool.com. All right, guys, so this lesson is very quick, very simple. Uh, right now, we're on main stage three. Now this is my number one selling sound kit. This is the sounds that I literally recorded from the Roland XV5080 and created new sounds from that and merged some sounds together. Uh, like the one you heard earlier, which is this. So uh, basically this is all about editing sounds like Sometimes uh, as a keyboardist, you hear something that you want to change in a sound. So if you go over here to the left side of the screen, you will see what? You'll see different sounds, different channels. They call it channels. Uh, and most of them are the EXS24. Uh, so uh, let me show you guys how to quickly edit a sound. Now let's say you have a sound like this. So vim. But you're like, this has too much reverb. If you have the Roland Blase sound kit, most likely the reverb is in one of these auxes. Uh, so how do you control the main reverb here? Here is your delay and echo. Here is the reverb, and there's another reverb here. So let, let's play it and play with the reverb knob. <laughs> you see how it sounds dry? It sounds dry, but there's some... Uh, reverb here but there's no delay there's no uh so there's two basically two reverb knobs there's an echo here and more reverb you turn that off it sounds more dry and all you hear is a dry reverb here so if you turn this reverb knob off nothing you just hear a simple sound But it sounds too plain, so you need these knobs here. So I, I've got a, I've had a lot of questions of people asking me, how do you turn off the reverb? You see how it sounds good with some reverb? So here's how you control reverb, guys. Uh, these two channels here, close towards the main channel here. Um, uh, this channel here uh, basically just takes up space. It's really good for nothing. Uh, but yeah, so your reverbs are these eight and nine auxes here. That's how it's programmed in this concert, the Roland Blase concert. Uh, that's how you control your reverb. Now let's say you don't like the way this sounds. You can always add more sounds to it to fill it up. Like if I go here to this plus sign and I go ahead and add another software instrument, uh, boom. So here it is, right here, software instrument. So if you have samples on your uh, computer, you can easily go here to the ESX or the EXS. You could click on that. Uh, let's go to that, let's click on it. And let's add a sample, uh, let me see. Let me go ahead and add this Bon Duet. You see how I changed up the sound a little bit? So it sounds, it sounds even better. It sounds a little better actually to me. So let's say if I don't want too much of that sound, I lower it so it could be more even. I just lower that knob right there. One thing I learned about compa sounds, when you stack a whole bunch of different sounds, it sounds even better. Uh, so, and let's say you, you don't want this to be dry. Let's solo this by itself. So you see how it sounds like a little too high as far as the octave? Uh, let's go down to the 24, let's transpose it down. That's only, that's one way you can shift the note. That's not a bad dry compa sample. 
So let's go ahead and put the volume up on that. Okay, so if you want to add the reverb to that, I'll just cut you do what I'm doing to these other ones where I put aux eight. Because uh, that's where the reverb is up here, bus one, aux eight. And then I put the volume to the same as the others. So you heard that echo? So let's go to aux nine here. And now it sounds good. Now let's take the solo off. And you can mute some of the sounds to see which one you want. So you guys see how to do it guys. So here is, so you're adding reverb with these auxes here and you're uh, changing sounds by adding software instruments. So that's two things you can do uh, with the Roland Blase sound kit. Uh, some of these sounds you can add a transposer here where it says MIDI effects to uh, bring the octave higher or lower to change the effect of the sound. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Listen to the sound. <laughs> And let's say I turn this, I go to this transposer here. Uh, you see how it's transposed to like the low 12? Let's say I turn it off. Turn it back on. So some, not all of your sounds have to be on the right octave. They can be on a lower octave or a higher octave, depending on what you want. So guys, if you're a good keyboardist, it's good to edit every sound you use to make it sound just the way you want to. Now guys, if you want to add some more effects to certain sounds, you can just literally click on the audio effects and there's tons of effects you can add like chorus and delay and, and amps and stuff like that. So this is Roland Blase. If you have any questions, go ahead and type it below. Uh, guys, this Roland Blase main stage pack is the number one pack that's being purchased. I know some sounds you guys are like, ah, but most of the sounds you guys are like, they're beautiful. So the sounds that you don't like, guys, you can easily edit. Uh, and I will make more videos on editing these sounds. So this is Roland Blase signing out. Hey, guys, this is Roland Blase. Um, one thing I want to tell you that, uh, Compa, you will learn. Compa, you will know how to play. And we've just released the official beginner's Compa course. In the Compa course, you will learn the key, how to find the key, what is the key, scales, chords, compa chords, compa chord progressions, the number system. You will learn minor chord progressions, compa rhythm. In this compa course, how to chake, simple solo tips. You will know how to start your journey off playing compa. For $19.99, this compa course has just been released. Go to compakeyboardschool.com it will be the first link on the top of the page and you will begin to know how to play compa in no time. Most of the key elements to compa keyboard playing is in this course. So guys, do not wait, do not hesitate. Get your compa course now and start playing compa right where you're at. Something that's good for me